guys today in this video we are going to see how to read the routing table of cisco router as you can see on the screen i have access of my cisco router and let me show you the routing table so ip route this is the command to check routing table again note the detailed information of routing table this command will show you the summary information of your routing table right so let me hit enter as you can see there are some prefixes in my routing table like 192.168.1.0 slash 24 and these are the summary information 192.168.1.0 slash 24 is learned via ospf routing protocol right o means ospf and uh, the ad value for this network is 110 matrix is 2 this network is learned from 10.1.1.2 means next hop for this network is going to be this one 10.1.1.2 and uh, this network is learned at this time on around uh, 19 minutes and 52 seconds ago on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 guys here we are not able to see which type of route it is or um, if it is ospf route then uh, it is coming from which ospf process right ospf process 1 2 3 so how to check the detailed information of this network right or any prefix in the routing table to check the detailed information you will use this command so ip route and after that your network id then submit mask let's say i want to check the detailed information of this network 192.168.1.0 and submit mask 255.255.255.0 here is the detailed information of my uh, network in the routing table this one right first of all you can see the routing entry for 192.168.1.0 slash 24 okay we are going to check the routing entry uh, for this network 192.168.1.0 the here first thing is this network is non via ospf process 1 right it is non via ospf process 1 in the uh, summary routing table we can only see that this route is coming from ospf routing protocol or coming from eigrp from which EIGRP ES number or from which OSPF ES number you cannot find that here even you cannot find which type of route it is right in the summary routing table if you will open it in the detail then you can find that it is coming from which OSPF process so this network is known via OSPF process 1 distance means AD value for this network is 110 matrix is 2 and here you can see the type which type of route it is it is intra area route right coming um, uh, from the same area right from any another neighbor in the same area right so here we can also find the type of route it can be external route intra area route inter area route in the eigrp we have again different types of route depending on your routing table um, routing protocol you can check the route types after that here we have last update from 10.1.1.2 on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 0 at uh, 21 minute and 1 second ago right so last update was received for this prefix from this neighbor from 10.1.1.2 from this next stop you can see right from this neighbor okay after that here we have a routing descriptor blocks what is this guys this part will gives you the deeper information of how router is handling this route right it is going to give you the deeper information about this route like how router is handling this route first of all see this star this star means this is the best prefix this is the best route right and the active best and active this is best and active when you will have multiple path multiple next stop let's say for the same destination actually we have this scenario router 1 router 2 and two links are there and we are running ospf on both and on router number 2 we have this loop back okay so router 2 is advertising this submit to router number 1 right now this interface is down this interface is up so if i will up f0 slash 1 as well right then we will have two next stop right for the same network 192.161.0 but you will not find this star on both the next stop it is indicating that this is the best if router is going to forward the traffic it will forward to in this network then for, uh, router will forward the traffic to this um, next stop if we have another next stop maybe a star is not there but router is performing ecmp router is performing ecmp so this star indicate this is the best path best path and active route for the destination okay so my destination network is this one 
it is non via osp approach has one distance value is 110 matrix is two type of route is in the intra area last update was received from this ip address from this router on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 at this time and after that routing descriptor block uh, we have the next hop ip address 10.1.1.2 the star and from 10.1.1.2 at this interval and um, at 20 minute and one second ago on which interface on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 right so this next hop is active this next hop is active and best after that again we have here matrix uh, route ma route matrix is to the total distance to reach this destination from 10.1.1.2 is 2 total distance to reach this destination from this next stop is 2 and after that traffic here count is 1 right uh, see if we have multiple path for the same destination in the ospf you know ospf supports ecmp then also traffic here count is going to be 1 only 1 means it is talking about a traffic split how it is distributing the traffic traffic is split between multiple next stop right so uh, traffic count is one even in ospf every time you will find traffic here count one okay but if the traffic here count is two let's say that means it is splitting the traffic between uh, two routers or uh, on the two links like in EIGRP unequal cost load balancing you can find traffic here count is 2 in OSPF we will have always traffic here count 1 now this is the detailed information of this network similarly let me check the summary information and here we have one more network this one let me open this one as well so IP route and 10.1.1.0 so you can see this network is connected this network is connected that's that's why distance value means ad value is zero matrix is zero connected via interface and uh, routing descriptor blocks you can see this network is directly connected via fast ethernet zero slash zero route matrix is zero and traffic here count is one now let me do one thing let me up uh, this interface as well f zero slash one on router number one go to config t interface f zero slash one and say no shut down no shutdown now i am expecting ospf neighbors one more ospf neighbors if here so ip ospf neighbor okay you can see it is in init state just wait for some time the neighborship will come up in full state and then there there should be two next hop for the same destination network let me pause the now you can see my ospf neighborship is up um, uh, now two neighbors are there and if you will check the routing table now the summary information so ip route you can see there are not two next hop for this destination network 192.168.1.0 slash 24 now there are two next hop one is 10.1.1.2 and one is 20.1.1.2 this is this next hop is reachable from fast ethernet 0 slash 0 uh, th sorry this network is reachable uh, via this next hop on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and the same destination network is reachable from this next hop on fast ethernet 0 slash 1 now if i will open this network in detail so ip route and 192.168.1.0 right so you can see guys now two next hop are there right routing descriptor block one is 10.1.1.2 and another one is 20.1.1.2 here we have a star here we don't have a star so router is going to forward the traffic to this next hop first then it will forward to this next hop then again this next hop then again this next hop and see a traffic count is still one if i am going to trace route by the way saf is running here so ip saf 192.168.1.0 oh, so ip saf let's say only and uh, saf here you can see 192.168.1.0 for the saf there are two next hop right if you will trace route it is going to forward traffic based on FIB, not RIB, right? But FIB is just a duplicate copy of your RIB. Trace route 192.168.1.1, let's say. You can see traffic is going to 10.1.1.2, right? In one millisecond. And in the next second, next uh, trace route, you can see now traffic is going to another next hop. Again, the third packet will go to another next hop. First next hop, then again, second next hop, again, next next stop so it is performing what load balancing over to next stop so this was 
the routing table output and hope it is clear to you how to check the routing table how to read the output and guys if you want to master these things right the cisco router switch uh, firewall then definitely you should uh, go for ccna course or ccnp course if you want to master the enterprise network then definitely ccnp course can be best for you it can be life changing for you and if you are someone who is looking for ccna or ccnp course or for the combo course please visit our website pmnetworking.in we are starting one ccna batch soon and uh, i am about to finish my combo batch ccna plus ccnp batch so once i will finish this batch i will start a new batch of ccna plus ccnp as well okay now if you have any question query concern you can let me know in the comment section otherwise that's all for today thank you thank you so much for watching bye bye